A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Ray Farrell sees the game like very few people do. Ray, what did you make of that first 20 minutes? Minnesota's focus in the second period will be to control the puck a little better, be a little more safe and smart with it. They turned it over so much, they're lucky to only be down one. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Colorado's up one set. Poked away in the neutral zone by Rantanen. The Avs take it along the wall. Fires it on net. Oh, just puts it wide of the net. He scores! They didn't sit back after getting that first one. They pile a back-to-back -back goal on here. He pounded this low stick side. The goalie can't get his pad on it. It's in the net. The Avs have now gone ahead by a pair here in this second. Stretching out the lead here in the middle frame gives you a little bit more flexibility on the bench. The coach can use his whole lineup. Lacar's carrying it ahead. Here's a short pass to Spurgeon. Through center along the wing. Minnesota's on the attack. Shot, and he scores. Minnesota's got new life here in this second period, Ray. It's amazing what a goal does. The energy on the bench changes. Guys can't wait to get on for their next shift. Colorado's won the draw. Scored by number 97. The Avs played along the wing. No room for that one to get through. brodeen has got it in the defensive end. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Play is called for offside. And they're going to drop the mids here. one comes to an end. That doesn't feel very good either when you get dropped onto the ice like that. It's, it's going to hurt a little bit. Probably less than getting punched in the face though. Well, that'll add a spark to the game for sure. The building is pretty loud after that last fight. Looks like the emotions have settled down. They've got calm back on the ice and let's get this puck dropped once again. Colorado's won it. Scooped up along the wall by Nachuskin. Moves into the slot. Blocked in traffic. Minnesota's in transition. Here's the scoring chance. Two on one. Keeps hold of the puck. Kaprizov's got it in the corner. Moves it quickly over to Zuccarello. Oh, what a slick stop by Francis. He bails his guys out again. I mean, he probably could use a little help. The guy's standing right in the middle of the ice to shoot this puck, but he tracks it and makes a really good save. Spurgeon's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same, you wear the same suit all the time. Colorado's won the faceoff. And that goes off someone in front that doesn't reach the net. Slides it diagonally to Eric Sinek. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Nachuskin. The Avs are playing against the wall. Handles the pass. Textbook hook check by Girard. And now it's grabbed by Zuccarello. On the attack along the boards. And now he moves it quickly to Kaprizov. The Avs gain possession in their own end. Here they come on the attack. Drives it to the crease. Decides to think about it. Oh, he stops it with a glove. Great reflexes there. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Getting into the later stages of this period. 
The Avs are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Answered the call on that play. Sparks hasn't had many breaks tonight. They have been overwhelmed, yet his game has been exceptional. Great A save after great A save. And they still got a chance to win, in large part because of the way he's playing. From center, they get into the attacking area. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Slides it up to McKinnon. Fires it! Oh. The net. You can see the traffic. The goalie's struggling to find the puck line, so he'll drop into position in the butterfly. Thinks he's got it covered, but there's a crack, there's a hole, and it's in the net. The centermen glide into position. The Avs win the faceoff. The buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action.